Hello everyone. Welcome to our fifth uh, market outlook of the year for the month of May. For the overall picture of Thai stock market, I would say that is not so bright as we are still lagging of a strong catalyst to push the market up firmly. And we also surrounding with the same old story. So the key external factor at, that the market will keep a close eye on. I would start with the cricket seekers as it would remain on the market radar screen in this month as uh, the clock ticks for the 18 to make two repayments to the internal international monetary funds OMF uh, with a totaling amount of 950 million euro in the first two in the first two weeks of the month. Despite the expectation of the 11th ounce breakthrough in Greece that talks, more sterner challenges will lie ahead of Greece as they, there remains another big chance of that deal in the next one or two months as shown in the tables in the left hand side from the charts we can see that it's not so easy for the Greece government um, to deal with that, uh, especially uh, they still have to negotiate with the the data to uh, about the, their uh, economic reform. So I, we think the market will still keep a close watch on the improvement of the Greece debt uh, talks. Next to be monitors are the key economic data out of global major economies. Of particular interest will be the U.S. economics, which would provide crew on the timings of the Federal Reserve's first interest rate hikes. From the Bloomberg consensus, as shown in the charts, we can see that the fastest move that might happen would be in the second quarters, but with the only inch up to about 10, 10 basis points only. The more likely to see the rate lifting should be in the third quarters, uh, about 20 to 25 basis point here. And we should be, it should be noticed that the latest uh, consensus shows sign of the slow, slower pace of the rate highs as well. And let's turn to the uh, major internal factor that's market. Uh, keep a close watch on them. We still wait to a new charter draftings. It would remain in the market spotlight as expected to see final revisions after receiving comments from the NRC. But it's not so easy to complete it without a controversial in several critical issues, such as the source of the Prime Minister the source of the 20, uh, 200 member Senate, and also the check and balance mechanism. Against the backdrop of heat, heated debate and conflicting opinions over all those issues, the domestic political temperatures look set to rise until the new constitution get approved in the third quarters. And then Last but not least, the first quarter earning report reporting seasons will also do its part to help set uh, to tone for the market. In our views, the first quarter looked to be an exciting in view of the brittle macroeconomic recovery amid weak private consumption and government spending, as well as faltering exports in the face of the global economic slowdowns. That's caused the Ministry of Finance, they had, has just revised down this uh, year exports growth to only 0.2%. And also the GDP uh, for this year to grow only 3.7% from prior forecast of 3.9%. So uh, the month of May is expected to be a bearish month for the Thai stock market. As both in the internal and external factors, which look to be biased, draws negative rather than positive leaks. Despite the 
prospect for a new round of stimulus from China or Japan. The upside room remains limited for Thai stock as Thailand may not be the first choice among investment destinations for foreign fund inflow. After the set index, PE ratio has climbed above regional above regional average. Moreover, statistics over the fast the past the last five years show there were 80% odds of four in five years that Thai stock in the month of May dropped dropped by an average of 2.2% from the prior months in line with the, the old stock market uh, data that, that recommend to sell in May and go away. So we foresee the key support level capped at 1480 to 1500 points, while the top sides would be pegged at 1570 points. For short-term investment strategy, we believe selective play would do well in the potential vol volatile bearish market in the month of May. Sticking to first quarter earning themes, investors should look for sectors that have specific factors to support strong earning improvement. For example, the slowing pace of decline in global oil price should relieve some pressure from crude invent inventory losses in the refinery business and product spread in petrochemical business, while a revival in tourism should argue well for earning of airline and hotel operators. And so our top three topics for the month are including the BDMS or Bangkok Lucid Medical Services, uh, PTTC or PTT Global Chemical, and so what? See, so what? Power 1979. That will, then I will give you more detail on each stock. In our picks, the first one is a BDMS. Uh, we see uh, the high season in the first quarters uh, for the foreign patients. And the company right now, they are uh, shaping up for the expansion mode. Uh, uh, in addition to, to reach the target of the expanding its hospital network to 50 by the end of this year from current 43, the company also plan to add six new buildings with a capacity of the 360 beds to its facility at its flagship campus in the Soi Sun Vijay to cope with a significant rise in the foreign patient volume. And also in, in terms of the AEC prospect, the company also uh, uh, of all, right now they have 44 hospitals uh, accredited by the US-based JCI in Thailand. Of that, 14 hospital is belong to BDMS. This is uh, put the good position for the company uh, to reap the, the benefit from the upcoming launch of the AEC. And we are looking for the really strong quarter in the first quarters. Uh, the first quarter is usually the high season for the foreign patients but the seasonal effect may be partially tempered by the escalating cost after the additional of the three hospitals to the portfolio in the January 2015. And uh, the add three is a uh, Mueang Pet Hospital, the second one three C C Yong Hospital, the third one D Book Hospital. Our forecast put the first quarter profit growth at the 2.3% Q1, Q. And for the whole year 2015, we see the BDMS uh, to post the profit growth of the 17.78% year on year to the 8.7 billion mark. The second one is the PTT Global Chemical. And we see the olefin spread is likely to stay at the high level. And in the first quarter will be the turnaround earning turnaround quarters. And our forecast, we see 
the company will post the profit 5.6 billion in the uh, first quarter from a loss of the 4.9 billion in the fourth quarter of last year. Uh, all of this is due to number one is a wider GRM cost uh, refinery margin dri driven by the higher uh, spread of the ULG 95s minus DB and the FO minus DB mar uh, spread. The second one lower inventory loss and the charges for the LCM adjustment. The third one is the improvement of the aromatic performance helped by uh, lower energy costs in in the wake of the plummeting uh, low oil prices. Um, we see also see the level of the olefin spread to, to remain high. Uh, this will support the earning uh, for the rest of the year. Even though right now the, the capacity is run uh, may not high as high as in the first quarter of this year due to the schedule overhaul, but the impact will be offset by the improvement in the profitability of the olefin business. Uh, this uh, due to the prospect of the pick up HDPE prices. Number two is supply disruption caused by the explosion at the Chinese uh, petrochemical plant. We have a buy on the PTT chemical, global chemical with a fair value of the 69 baht a share. The last one is uh, Sawat. Sawat, uh, they will have a nano finance hold for whole key for the growth. Right now, Sawat is among the one of the first four non-bank firms to obtain the nano finance licenses from the Bank of Thailand. It seems to be ready to start its nano finance business after getting the license in the view of the, uh, the readiness in terms of the operating system and the personal. So the company is ready to, uh, to get the benefit of the nano finance uh, business. Uh, number two is the uh, asset management subsidiary was set up last year. It's right now is uh, is currently under the contract to provide the debt collection services for other operators. So what is aimed to increase the port, the proportion of the revenue from the asset management business to 15% of the total revenue. On the other side, the nano finance and more NPL purchase will be the key factor to for the growth this year. And also we see the potential of the M&A deal uh, as a share price catalyst. Uh, we have a buy on the somewhat with uh, the target price of 50 baht a share. This would be all for our presentation for this month. Uh, thank you for your attention. See you next month.